Hello there. So this is a short video, a tutorial on how to use origin for plotting. Uh, so let me just quickly open up how it will look like. Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it will open up a one workbook in which it restores the data points from where it will it uses as a source data points for plotting purposes so what i'm going to do i'll use my previous plot values here so that it's easier to explain and to tell how how plotting is done and uh, i also tell what these tables are Oh, okay, it's changed into these values, I believe. All right, so after filling in our data points, we can either like open the Excel file or import the data file from different sources, even MATLAB from Excel or CSV files. So after it's imported, this will be stored in these origin spreadsheet format here from one it's the data points the data points um, it's, and these long names are basically the data labels data labels means oh, if i enter a string here these values are stored under the category of labeled as string and also we can enter the percentage uh, units here for respective quantity that we are or the parameter we are calculating so this plot this data point is for strain stress versus strain so our x axis will always the first column 5 10 15 20 we can also make this x-axis by using set as command but right now we just need one axis and one x-axis so and this is control group one that was the samples that worked it using pbs and has the peak value peak stress values next to it is the error error table in which there is uh, each cell tells the error with respect to each peak stress values of the PBS group. So these two are for PBS and this column is for PBS error. Respectively, this is N2 for con uh, only for buffer, contracting buffer and its respective error. And this column is for enzyme treated groups, the peak stress of enzyme treated groups and their respective errors. So before proceeding for the plot, I have to tell origin that which column is the data table, or data in which column is my x and y data and which column has errors for that. These three are errors so I have to like right click here, choose set as and select y error. Here I will do the same thing, y error and similarly here as well where now our data table is ready to be plotted uh, so i'll select all data points either i could go here plot and choose which plot i want it, this and this tab shows the plotting option in a graphical way so it's easier to interpret which plot is going to i'm going to use spline connected and there is a shortcut for that as well like just click here go here and click spline connected and it will automatically plot the graph based on my selected data points if i choose the above option here select the workbook select plot i have to manually enter which which is x-axis and which is y-axis to plot the same thing I will add in our layer 1 as a grouped data points and I can see the preview here 
so this is another method to plot the same thing okay i don't need this one so i'll work on graph one so as you can see here we have the theta and the error bars of each data points now here this is these are the legends and it's using convention of percent one percent two percent three which is the actually layer numbers which is it's taking from the in the these layers are the long names that I mentioned about the, the category labels it's taking these name naming from so also you can just double click here to open the plot details and you can see here the details about the plot detail about the layers that are currently being plotted on the graph now to edit any of these like the data points or the errors you have to double click that thing and it will automatically open that respective tab for correction so let's suppose if you want to change the color you can do that as well over here it change the color of the error bars i'll choose auto reveal so that it's done for each data label here also i can change that these red and blue and black line colors for the my data but for that i have to first choose independent mode then hand over to line and then choose the color i want to plot yeah, and i'll change it to the green but if we just want to go with the plot that these are these are automatically generated we can do that as well we have both options another thing is i can show the object manager here so this is used to quickly switch between the layers if you want to see our plot on the graphs so let's suppose you have more data points like one more group which is for like different buffer treated and you want to see our plot here you can control the layers which are currently being plotted under this object manager you can also have multiple layers so that you can just click here to see those layers as well oh, sorry okay another thing which i can do is like uh, the masking so for mask masking is like suppose you have some data values that you don't want to plot on the graph so for that for that what i can do is select those data values like suppose i don't want these two values to be plotted so i'll select these two values and go here mask range and it will mask these values right now it's being pl plotted on the graph and to change that i have to hit hide and show mask point these two points that just vanished from the plot are the, the mask points so i can switch between the mask and and mask points now i am to remove it just simply select all data points or just select these two and it unmask to unmask it uh, i can show a couple of more plots so i can show like scatter plot so just select the data and this is a scatter plot with along with the error bars of course mm, i can show like once we are done with preparing our table we can just Go there plot and choose whichever plot looks best or is sufficient to our need i would say yeah let's see if we want to see in the column i can we can see that as well if we can also see it in form of a area so let's see the area one yeah this is the one mm -hmm. in area plot as you see that we are not able to see the one where is the pbs it's probably behind some layers 
and the layers that are currently being plotted is always in like a chronological order sequential order one two three so it plots the first layer second layer and then third layer and it seems that our first layer is behind chabc buffer second layer that's why we are not able to see so what we can do is just simply hide this layer to see where it is or what we can do is go to this layer data tab go to line and then okay i have to make independent yeah so go to line and change the transparency of the buffer the green one let's go with 50 and hit apply so now we can see where actually the pbs is so we can also use the transparency option to achieve this thing hmm. and when you double click here it will open up this layer tab where i was just editing the files i think the parameters okay so that's pretty much it this is just uh, basically how you can use it and every time if you want to rescale these values you can just hit here rescale and shortcut is control r rescale x or rescale y there is also individual option for that and if you want to change manually just double click on the data points here the y-axis go to scale and enter what values you want like if you want to start it with 70 just hit 70 apply it will change it and the type you want these access to like log linear log reciprocal so and you can even choose custom formula if you want to do it mm, and that's it i think i can just quickly show you how to do the double y-axis plot as well so let's suppose on the first y-axis we want to keep oh it's already automatically just choose the best option for us but if we don't want that you have to first deselect all the data points select the workbook highlight the workbook go to plot oops what is going on uh, multi y double y you can do four multiple stacked as well i'm going to choose double y okay now there is two layers first layer is for y first y axis and second is for second y axis so i'm going to plot our pbs and buffer group and the first y so i'll first select the x axis here then the y axis and the buffer y axis and add it to the first layer group in a group now on the second y axis i'll click here layer 2 then I'll choose x-axis which is already selected then I'll choose the buffer one and hit add so it's added here since so see the preview as well uh, which will look like this I'll hit ok and this is the plot for I think I did something yeah yeah, let's let's check out the once again plot setup there is some error in here okay i have to rescale these values okay hmm this is strange oh that's because actually our y second y axis is automatically generated from 0 to 10 and it's from minus 5 to 70 so that's why that's it's automatically rescaled the values to look uh, under the same high and lows of the first layers so i can manually change it let's see because this red line which is CHABC treated group, the enzyme treated one should be their pre, uh, uh, peak stress is very really less than the other two groups. So, to 
see what we usually usually see is I run through a big value here to apply and now it's lower yeah that's what happened but we can but the point of having two scale is to have like different values than the first y-axis so actually 10 is very big it's at 15 yeah 15 is good so these are y-axis seeing a double y-axis uh, i think this should be okay for getting started with origin the plot now to save this file either you can just copy graph as picture and it will just keep the graph on your uh, clipboard like if suppose if i have word opened i'm working on some word or some document i'll just come here click on copy graph as picture and press ctrl v or right click paste it will paste here automatically or if you want to export this graph so right click for shortcut is ctrl g export graph and it will show up where we want to save the file which format we want to save diff jpeg png whatever suits the best and the location for the plot and the resolution you can also change the resolution you want the color depth monochrome will save in, in single color that's like i don't know which color it's, i believe it's will be pretty much in black oh resolution is very high yeah the monochrome is just like simply grayscale yeah mono means one okay yeah and you can choose between color as well here which colors you want and then choose the location and hit away it will save so that's it thank you so much now if you have any doubt or questions you can ask me later thank you